The terrible crimes that were committed by Germans and in the name of German people. This place offers a stark warning. It warns us that all our action must be guided by the inviolability of human dignity and that we must never fail to defend the values of our constitution with the utmost resolve. Here we get a sense of our deep obligation to be judged by these principles, especially at times when our values are under threat. This is the unshakable foundation of Germany's identity today. And that is why, to use the words of our Chancellor Angela Merkel, standing up for Israel's security is, and let me say, remains part of Germany's raison d'etat. It was American soldiers who 75 years ago liberated the surviving inmates of Dachau concentration. Maybe today we can take another significant step together in dignifying the memories of the victims of the Shoah and the valiant survivors by demonstrating that the relations between Israel and Germany will no longer be defined by the history that divided us, but rather by a common destiny that could unite us. Thank you. The joint flyover we have conducted passed over the airport where the Israeli Olympic delegates were murdered 48 years ago and over this camp. Via this flyover, the Israeli Air Force, alongside the German Air Force, a long-awaited winds of change, a superior message of a safer, brighter future for the coming generations. If we had told a Jewish child survivor here in Dachau that in 75 years a flyover would take place above the camp led by Israeli Air Force aircraft wing to wing with the German Air Force, he would have said that we had probably lost our mind. If we had told him that seated in the lead aircraft was squadron commander Lieutenant Colonel Gall, granddaughter of Holocaust survivors, together with the commander of the German Air Force and the commander of the Israeli Air Force, he would have definitely thought himself delusional. And today we have proved that this is no dream. This is coveted reality.